was her regular workout at the gym. I was just doing a circuit with a trainer. When all of a sudden, snap. April Bear tore her Achilles tendon. Snap and a fall back. <laughs> I fell backwards. The tendon connects the calf muscle to the heel bone. When it tore, she says pain shot up her calf and her foot was essentially just hanging there. You realize that something like really bad has happened because you can't use your foot anymore. About 230,000 people injure their Achilles tendon every year in the U.S. and the numbers have been increasing. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Pat Maloney says that's likely due to the current fitness craze. And the higher impact type of exercise lends itself to have the Achilles injuries more often. A tear like Bear had is the most serious Achilles injury. Most people will have the feeling of having been kicked in the calf, pain possibly severe with swelling near the heel, an inability to bend the foot downward or stand on the injured leg, and a popping or snapping sound when it occurs. Surgery is almost inevitable with a tear, but Dr. Maloney says what's key is getting medical help as soon as it happens. If it's ignored or missed, and then a month or two months or six months later, somebody just notices that they're walking kind of funny and they're, they're weak with push-off, and then they get it evaluated, and then a chronic tear is a lot harder technically to fix. Fortunately, Bear sought medical help right away. Dr. Maloney used this device to repair her tendon. This part actually goes kind of inside the incision. That's why it's about an inch kind of wide. It goes up, and then these parts are on the outside of the skin and allows you to pass a needle and the stitch through to literally kind of grasp that top end of the tendon. Full recovery with physical therapy is a little more than a year. Bear says she still has a little pain, but she's back to about 85% and is working out again. So I would say like my lifestyle is pretty much back to where I want it.